guys are having a wonderful day. If you are new here, welcome. Um, my name is Beth. A lot of people call me Shine. Either one is totally fine. So today, okay, I'm super annoyed right now. I actually had a whole whip and chat recorded, edited, and ready to be uploaded, and I accidentally deleted the video. Um, I have never had this happen. And it is super, super frustrating. I was just like, uh, did I just do that? And so I went into, you know, um, because I used to have a backup system, but unfortunately it hadn't even backed up yet. And so, yeah, I was like, are you kidding me? Now, granted that whip and chat was recorded last week. But still, it was a whole hour whip and chat that I had taken the time to do and edit. But I'm going to do another one, so this one might be a little shorter. I do apologize for that, but hey, you get what you get, right? Um, so a couple things. I was going to start and then like get going and then start recording, but I wanted to show you guys something that I've been having an issue with, with the Dreamer Designs canvas. Um, not the canvas, actually. It's the plastic. So, every time... Okay, now, if you were to go down to the bottom here, where I haven't lifted it or worked on it, watch. See how easy that comes up? Yeah. Real easy. Now, you go to... And I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit, so you can really see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna pull this side up. Now... Same plastic, same side, but I am like, yeah, pulling as hard as I can and it'll kind of come off in chunks. But then what happens is it rips and you can't, it's super frustrating. See that? It's like, it does not want to come back up. Um, and it's just, oh my word. It's just like. I don't understand why that happens. Um, I've had like certain canvases be a little harder to pull back up, but nothing like this. This is like re ridiculous. It it's like it, I don't know, it gets stuck to it. And then when you're trying to pull it up, it rips. And it's like, I'm about to just pull it all up and use something else. Because this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And it, it shouldn't do this. Like, it just shouldn't. That's not normal. Um, I've had canvases where it's, like, a little harder to pull to get the plastic back up. But, oh, my gosh, you guys. This is like if I were to put a piece of paper down. And this is their plastic that comes with their kit. And it, it tells you to recover it while you're not working on it <laughs> really so then what are we supposed to do to get this back off like it's just stupid it's just stupid this canvas has caused me a lot of headache you guys like a lot of headache when i first opened it i was all for i was like oh everything looks really great i'm really excited yeah mm -mm, not no more See, watch this though. Okay, now that I'm down to the area that I haven't exposed yet, and watch, comes right off. It's like, I don't understand why re putting it down makes such a huge difference. And then, like I said, it's, it's in pieces because it just doesn't want to come down. Like, I don't understand. Anybody have this experience and know what, like, uh, a fix like a, like an easy thing that you can do to make it so this doesn't happen I don't know um I'm gonna tape these together for right now so that they're not in pieces so that I can put my cover minder there and keep it down in one chunk um and then I, I might just cut it off just because it's not I'd rather like just leave it opened and possibly run the risk of like maybe having to use some glue stick or something if it did lose the stickiness because pulling this off is just, I mean, no, mm -mm. that's not, not cool, not cool at all. Um, 
yeah, anyways, so I haven't worked on this canvas in a few days. I've had a really bad headache due to sinus stuff. This canvas is so bright that I have not wanted to work on it like I usually do, just because it's so bright. It's like, um, you know when you have a bad migraine? Last thing you want to do is look at something that's all bright, right? Yeah. Kind of how I feel. So, I put this one to the side. I've actually been working the past couple days, like, non-stop. So, I haven't really had time to diamond paint much in the last two days. I got, I have 40, well, I have 38 orders ready, like, packaged and ready to go. And I have about four more that are waiting on a couple of magnets to dry. Um, but we'll be going out today. So, obviously, um, that's a lot of packages, guys. A lot of packages. Here's a picture of all of them. Yeah. Here's them on the floor right before I was organizing them. And here they are in the box. Yeah. So, this has taken, obviously, some time. I was behind due to these freaking headaches um, that are so annoying, but... The only thing, you know, and I am starting to feel better, but the problem is, is like, um, my infection, my sinus infection is going away, but allergies have come full bloom. Like, they're like, hey, 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 can I, can I cause a problem for you? Is that okay? Like, no, it's really annoying. There's this tree, um, right here. I'll put a picture in. This tree is absolutely gorgeous, you guys, but it's in the front of my house right in the front of my house like right by my bedroom window actually and I um uh I can't even sleep in my bedroom right now because it's so close to that tree and that tree is in full bloom like massive full bloom and the pieces are fine you know the little these beautiful pieces of flowers are falling all over the place and as gorgeous as they are like, it is killing my allergies. It is. Like, I mean, Maddie just got allergies this year, and my son doesn't have allergies. And yesterday, he was even saying his eyes were itchy. I mean, it's crazy this year, you guys. I don't know if you are somebody that deals with allergies. Like, you get, I mean, I know it's different in all different places of the country and, and the world, but man alive, it is full allergy season here in Spokane. And of course, I'm stubborn and no matter what, I take my dogs out. Like, I don't care. I can, uh, yeah. Even when I had a bad headache, like, my kids helped. Um, but like, obviously, they don't want to go out at night and I don't blame them. Um, and so I do the nighttime and I I'll still do it and I'll still get up in the morning when the kids are asleep and do it. Um, my neighbor was like, you are dedicated my friend like she's like you're dealing with all this allergy crap and you're still taking your dogs on walks every day I'm like yep that's what you do when you have dogs it's like it's kind of like kids if you're sick do you just not take care of your kids uh no you take care of your kids you, you have to it's just you just have to um and I kind of feel that same way like I brought these dogs into my house you know they they can't take themselves out for a walk. We don't have a yard, so they deserve to have some time outside. So, yes, I do. I take them out for two or three walks. Um, four sometimes if it's if it's nice and I'm feeling good. But um, they go at least two walks a day. At least. Anyways. But that's all right. I just deal with it. You know, I got my allergy meds, which help. But they just don't do everything. Because they're just so bad. So I keep getting a sore throat. And of course with like everything going on. You know you get a sore throat. Or any kind of a symptom that could be related to COVID. And you're like oh my gosh. Do I have it? I'm dying. Like, <laughs> It's funny. Because like you sneeze. And people are like oh my gosh. like, And they start scooting away. You know it's like it's allergies. But seriously. Worst time for allergies. Um. I was watching the weather today, and I was just, uh, I don't know, it just breaks my heart. Like, you think we're trying to do this social distancing to to keep everybody safe and to keep the hospitals from just being absolutely flooded with, with patients, but um, 
it's hurricane season now, guys. And what does that entail? Well, that entails tornadoes, hurricanes, all that kind of stuff, which puts a lot of people in shelters, a lot of people. And so how in the world are they going to con contain that? I mean, I don't know. It's really, I was watching it and they were saying like, you know, if you can try to find a, a friend or relative to stay with because, um, you know, to minimize being in those situations. But man, for those people that don't have anybody close by, that's tough. Like, yeah, that is, it's tough. You gotta, they're, you know, gonna have to, can you imagine wearing a mask all the time? I sure can't. I am a big baby. I, I wear it because I have to, but man, those things make you hot. They hurt your ears after a while. Like, I just, no, I, I can't imagine that. I'm very, very glad right now that I live where I do because we don't have hurricanes or tornadoes or, I mean, the worst we get is like a, a little flash flooding from a, a thunderstorm or something. Um, nothing that lasts or does major damage. We might have a power outage or something like that once in a while because of uh, thunderstorms, but nothing like other parts of the country and the world. Um, so yeah, I, I just pray for those people and hope that, yeah, everybody stays safe. If you're, if you're in one of those areas, make sure you stay safe. And if you're supposed to evacuate, evacuate, follow, follow those, you know, what they're telling you because they're doing that to keep you safe. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I am so excited right now to be working on this with the pen I am working on it with. So many of you know, my birthday was in April, the 16th of April, and my daughter's was the 21st of April. Well, one of my friends, she is a subscriber of mine, but she's a friend of mine. I've known her now for a little over a year here. She is in my Facebook group. She's been in my Facebook group since January of 2019. Uh, she's one of the people who convinced me to make a channel and all that. Um, and I love her to death. Anyways, the other day, I or yesterday, I got a package in the mail. And I'm like, and it was from BFF Diamond Painting Pens. And I'm like, what the world? I didn't order this. What What's going on? And then I remembered, oh my gosh, Ariel sent me some like postage thing and I was really confused as to what it was and then I remembered again like oh yeah she she asked what Maddie's favorite color was huh I bet these are from her and they were of course Ariel you are amazing oh I I, I, I am like I don't know I'm at a loss for words because it's just so sweet so sweet I love her to death and um I'm going to show you both of these pens. Let me finish this little section right here. They are so pretty, you guys. I've never even seen a pen like mine. Um, okay, so this one she gave to Maddie. Maddie's favorite color is purple. And yes, Maddie does diamond paint. Um, and so she gave her this one. It's a it's purple and white. It, it kind of goes darker and then lighter, lighter, lighter. And then it has the white and the purple on that side. But oh, isn't it just so pretty? I love it. Okay, now, mine, my favorite color is pink. And this thing, first of all, I've been wanting one of the um, the ones that you can, like, see through, you know. But look at this. Look at this thing inside of it. Is that not so cool? I don't know what that thing is in there, but oh my gosh. I absolutely love this pen. It is so pretty. Like, oh, I just love it. I want to know what that is, though. I mean, seriously, what is it? What is it? But it is so gorgeous. So, yeah, it's this, like, translucent pink. Um, and then it has this awesome-looking thing <laughs> inside of it. And it just makes it so cool. Like, I love this pen. Now I'm starting to, <laughs> to, to have a collection. Okay, so first of all... I'll show you my pens real quick that I have. My acrylics. Um, okay, so my first acrylic was this one. And I absolutely love it. 
It is beautiful. Beautiful. I did a good job picking this one. Like, I was really happy when I got this one. Um, and then my second one was from, well, these two were both from Ariel. Um, she had watched a live of mine that Maddie kept trying to steal this one because this is the only acrylic one I had. So she has like a bazillion. So she was like, hey, why don't I send you a couple? And we traded. I gave her some cover minders. I got some two acrylics. I got the better end of the deal. Let me tell you, I did. Okay, there's this one, and it's like a green and marbly, but look, if you look up close, look at that sparkle. I love this pen. I love it. So pretty. Okay, and then she also gave us this one, which is this white and black. Um, and the white, let's see if I can get it to focus. The white, see how pearly that is? It's like beautiful, like a, a white pearl. Um, so that was that one that she sent us. So there's three. And then I got my um, gift from Diamond Art Club. So I got these three. So there's this light blue and white. There's the see-through pinkish, um, and then it's got like sparkles on the inside. Then this one's my favorite from them. Like, isn't that so pretty? Sparkle, glitter, sparkle. And then now I have, oh wait, I forgot one. This one I got from, um, uh, Tima from Diamond Painting with Sparklers. So I got that one, which is a very beautiful royal blue. Love this one. I worked with this one for a long time. It is so comfortable. I really, really like the size and the shape of this one. It's really nice. So then now I have my two new ones. Well, this one's Maddie's, but you know is in the collection. So now I go from literally buying one, you guys, one to this. <laughs> oh my word. So I have quite the acrylic collection now. Um, so one of these Diamond Art Club ones that I got, I'm not sure which one, but one of them is going to be going into a giveaway because I mean, Goodness gracious, there's just no way I can, you know, use all of these. I mean, I could, but I just don't need all of them. And so I'd rather put them in, you know, do one at least in a giveaway. So um, most likely the one I will do is this one. And it is a pretty blue, like a teal bluish color and white. And it says, I'm trying to find it. There it is. Okay. See if I can get my camera to focus on it. Come on, camera. Camera, focus on the pen. There we go. Okay, can you see those words? It says Diamond Art Club. Yep. And these are all sold out right now. Um, like everything. <laughs> like everything is sold out. Not really, but a lot of stuff because, you know, limited supply and everything because of this virus is affecting all areas um, of life. And so, yes, they are on you know limited demand so be patient be kind it's you know just i'm starting to get low on certain things too in my shop like some of my regular cover minders that i always have in the shop i'm starting to get low on and i'm hoping that my mail orders that i've put in will uh come in time for you know everybody that wants things i've had lots of emails well, messages on Etsy, which my Etsy messages are being really wonky. Like, I've had a couple people be like, uh, message on Etsy. And I'm like, what? I never got no message. What the heck? And so anyways, but, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So the, I need to get some of the, uh, uh, normal things that I keep in the shop all the time kind of refilled, like my wash basins, um, I have an order coming for those. 
Um, I have order coming for like the sparkly little, the little sparkly ones, um, for the cats and dogs, oh, man. Oh, one that was really popular. Where is it? Oh, here it is. I just put a magnet on one for myself because I had, I sold the other one. Um, this one, it just took off. Like, I mean, I got these in store, in the store. I had 13 of them. I have, I think, one left. Um, yeah, they just, they took off. They were, they were a hit, which I kind of anticipated them being, which is unusual for me to buy 13 from the get-go. Um, I usually only get one or two just to make sure they work and everything. But I was like, yeah, these are going to work and they're going to be popular. Like, I just, I knew that, so... I'm glad I went ahead and got the 13 because now they're, I think I have one left. I think. I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that. My store changes all the time. All the time. And I am praying that my envelopes come in the mail in time. Um, because normally they're here in three days. This time they ain't going to be here till May 5th through the 9th. I don't think my envelope... Well, no. I know, I know my envelopes will not make it. I'm going to probably have to buy some of the white, ugly, expensive ones from the regular store. Because they're just... Mine won't make it. And I don't... I know they won't. Um... I just I have too many orders that come through and and like I said normally those things are here within a couple of days and I just I don't know I wasn't even thinking about the fact that um they're gonna have be limited on supplies too you know anyways hopefully I can find something so I don't have to like shut the shop down because that would suck I would not want to do that um That'd be like worst case scenario. And I mean, I could also tell people, hey, yeah, you're more than welcome to order, but it's it might be, you know, a little bit on the delayed side until I can get what I need. Um, but yeah, I mean, things have been coming going slower. Anyways, I've been taking less um, trips to the post office. I'm only going once or twice a week, depending on how many orders. Like, this week I'll go twice because there's just so many orders that they're, I just can't get them all done within the, you know, time frame of going once. So, I will have to go twice. But I do go either, you know, when they're clo almost closed or closed. So, I limit, like, my exposure to people. Um, so... All right, I think those guys are, yes, here they are. I say, I think I already have them out in a tray right now. Okay. So it's early, it's like seven in the morning. And I woke up and I'm like, you know what? My kids are fine, they're asleep. It's quiet in my house. I'm getting up. Like, I was like, I didn't have to get up. But I'm getting up. Like, I want some time where it's quiet. And the kids are both asleep. So I can have some me time. Because man alive. When you got two kids home all the time together. We live in an apartment. So it's not like, you know, we can say, oh, okay, you go upstairs. We'll go downstairs. And let's separate for a while. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to hit y'all. You know, I can't just separate us. Like, it just doesn't work. Um... So, yeah, I <laughs> have just basically, dang it, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Hold on. All right, that's the lies. Okay. Sorry. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, and they share a room. We were planning on looking for a house this spring um, and summer because they need to have their own rooms. They're getting too old. Um, they just need to. And anyways, so, but all this stuff that's going on is putting that back. And it is just taking a toll. 
I mean, their room, granted, it's huge, you guys. It's like 16 by 16 feet. It is huge. They both have their own sides of the room. Maddie likes to keep hers clean. My son likes to leave garbage out. And it drives her crazy. And then if he's bored, he thinks it's fun to just antagonize his sister. It's just what he does. And so lately they've had like times that were, like they've got along all day um, because they got Maddie got a new game on the Switch called Animal Crossing. And they all love it. And my husband plays it with them. Which has been nice because then, like, he comes home from work. He goes and spends, like, an hour by himself. And then he's been, like, coming out and, like, spending some time with them for, like, an hour. Which is awesome because typically he comes home from work and he's in his bedroom the rest of the night. Like, he's just, he's here, but he's, you know, he's not out here with us. And so, um, I know the kids have been absolutely loving that. He's been coming out and, and playing Playing the game with them, um, and that's nice too, because then I have some quiet time that I can work and, you know, do whatever else I need to do without being interrupted and bugged. Drove to the crazy house, because, whoa, some days. Like, yeah. And me and Maddie are together all the time. All the time. <laughs> it's like, girl, I need to go to, the, like, I need to go to the post office by myself or I need to go to the field with the dogs by myself I, I just yeah you, and I'm like I love you I do but you gotta have some time apart or it's just you drive each other crazy and, you know and then it's like we fight like sisters and it's like girl you know there's that fine line that you can't cross with as kids you can't let them treat you like you're a sister or a friend because you're not you are the mom. You are the authority figure. So being that we are so close and we are together so often, sometimes she crosses that line of more of like a friendship rather than a mom. So I have to quickly re remind her, like, you know, I'm a mom first. Do not disrespect me. Do not talk to me in that tone. Like, you know, because she's getting older. She's getting older. She wants, you know, she's more independent. Um, and hormones and being a diabetic on top of that, like, yeah, doesn't, doesn't make for a good mix. Puberty and diabetic hormones. No, not a good mix. Not a good mix. But those, were, you know, like I tell her, those are the cards we're dealt. So we play with them and we deal with it all we can do all we can do and so you know taking breathers taking time like assessing the situation like okay we're gonna walk away and we can come back and figure this out um alex he just drives me crazy because he drives her crazy and then i have to step in you know other than that like alex is fairly easy if it's just Alex here, like, there's no issues ever because he just, he's just easy. He's 14 and he wants to be in his room and plays games and he's happy if he can do that, you know? Um, but now that social, not social school, now that school has started, um, finally, online school for them has started and... It's going to be a whole new world. Yeah, it's going to be a whole new world now. No more just like, because they had like homework packets to work on and stuff, but there was no time. There was no like do this amount every day. It was just like, oh, here, here's this homework packet. You can work on it if you want, but it's not mandatory. And I'm like, I know they have to say that because not all kids have like, you know, the ability to do it all, but it's like, you tell a bunch of high, uh, junior hires that the work's not mandatory, and they're gonna be like, well, we don't have to do it, you know? I'm like, no, you do have to do it. Like, I don't care if it's mandatory or not. 
So anyways, but now that there's more like structure and stuff, um, with meeting up with teachers and students, uh, and you know, getting new work and everything, um, yeah, everything's just going to be changing again. So they're doing 20 minutes a day on each subject, at least 20 minutes a day on each subject. So that's is a total of about two hours according to the school that they need to be doing their school. Which, I mean, if you look at it, that ain't a bad deal for the kids. Like, the kids that don't like school that much, that ain't a bad deal. Two hours versus, like, being gone for seven, you know? Um, it's it's not that bad. It really isn't. And they're, the grading and all that is so different and so much easier because they have to take home life into effect, you know? So, anyways, um, so yeah, we got that. We got, I put in for a computer to get from the school because while we have two computers, like, one is Maddie's for her work, one is mine for my job, and Alex needs one too, so he's been using mine, um, so that leaves me to do my work like in the evening and nighttime. So I did put in for one if there was one available. Like I didn't want to take it from my from a child that like didn't have one in their home, you know, at all. They obviously need it more. We can manage sharing if we need to. But if they had one, like, you know, that's great. So we I just put in that like request on Friday. Um, and so hopefully I'll hear back from them and I can go pick one up. So that way we don't have to deal with like the computer issue, like of when I need it, when he needs it, when Maddie needs it, that kind of thing. Cause our, the computer that my daughter, that Maddie uses, it's going to die any day. Like the whole reason that I got a new computer be is because that one was like, it had already died twice. And luckily, like, my husband and my son were able to bring it back to life. But if it dies again, chances of it coming back are slim. And so we, you know, talked about it. And it's like, I need, I have to have a computer for my Etsy store. So we went ahead and got one. Um, and we had money saved for it. So we went ahead and got one. And so that way we weren't, like getting it when we didn't have one and it was a rush and it was, you know, like, oh, just grab one, you know, kind of thing. We were able to do a little more research and, and figure out what we really wanted. And so, uh, I'm really, really happy actually with our purchase that we, the computer we got. I love how it's a touch screen. Um, it's a 17 inch, but you can turn it to make it a tablet. So it's like the biggest tablet in the world, but um, you can see, it, I just love it. There's, and it's so, like, fast compared to my other one. It was like a dinosaur. It would take, like, ten minutes just to turn on. And then open, you know, up, like, um, Firefox or Chrome or any of the internet searches. Engines. Then it would take another, like, ten minutes to do that. It was, like... Oh my gosh, it's like watching paint dry. Just took forever. And so this one, you just barely like click it to open up like Chrome or something. And it just is there. It's just like open. It's, it's really fast. It's really fast. I've gotten used to it now. But man, in the beginning, it was like, dang. Because like when I used to print out my shipping labels, it would take me forever. And now it's so fast, it has literally cut my time in half of printing out shipping labels. In half. That's huge. Huge. So I'm really, really glad that we went ahead and did it. So, um, I'm working on this canvas and I'm also working on the new Distracted by Diamonds canvas. And I can only work on this canvas for so long because of my headaches. Um, and this one is just so bright. Like, it starts hurting my 
my face and my eyes after a while. Um, just because it's so bright. So pretty. And I mean, I picked... <laughs> I mean, I picked a really bright one. So, it's kind of my fault, too, you know, that it's so bright that it gives me a headache. But, um, it was weird. I didn't even notice that it was the canvas that was doing it, um, at first. I was like, because I mean, I always have a headache, like I've said, but the, they get worse and better and all that. Well... Last week, I happened to be working on it a lot, and then the next day, yeah, I had a killer headache. And then I worked on it on Friday night um, during Mrs. Coffee's Live, and then I worked on it a while after that. And then I actually put it down because my head was getting so bad, and I went to sleep, and I had a killer headache Saturday to the point where I almost canceled my live. I don't remember. I think I might have canceled my live once. I think, I don't even remember for sure if I did, um, but I was like two seconds away from canceling it. I was like, I don't know if I can do it. Like, and luckily my, I finally took some like, um, uh, Excedrin, which I don't like taking unless I have to because of the caffeine in it and stuff and my body doesn't like caffeine, but I took it and took a nap and it, it, did the trick enough to where I could do my live. So I was glad. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's been bad lately. And I know a lot of it is my sinus infection and my allergies and all that stuff. But, you know, when you have a migraine, it's hard to look at things that are bright. And this canvas is just so bright. Um, I've never actually seen... I've done some real bright diamond paintings, but I've never seen the canvas itself that's so bright. It's, I mean, it's gorgeous, but it is just really bright. Um, yeah, I'm, I swear I'm going to finish this painting if it kills me, because two, I, two reasons. One, I really, really like it. Actually, three reasons. One, I really, really like the image. And I really want to put it up in the house. Two, I spent a good penny on this, so I'm going to finish. And three, I want to finish one so that I can give y'all, like, a good review. Like, you know, to see what it's going to turn out to be. Like, is it going to be blurry? Is it going to be um, beautiful? Like, I want to know what the end result will be, you know? What the image is going to look like once it's all said and done. Um, okay. Hold on a second. <sighs> That's a Y. Where is the other? Oh, here it is. Okay. I was going to say I almost messed up. Because, like, these two colors are similar. I mean, they're different shades. They're pink and purple. But... The, the symbols kind of remind me of each other when they're turned. So it just like messes with my brain. It's like, wait a minute. Did I just mess up? I've already messed up on this canvas so much um, that I had to, you know, take five hours worth of work off of it. And that was what, so my last whip and chat was actually like, it started out like a rant. I was so mad when I started that whip and chat, you guys. So, so mad. Because I had been working on this canvas for five hours during my... So, my daughter's birthday was last Tuesday. And one of the things she wanted to do was watch a movie at the end of the day. So, we were watching a movie. And I was diamond painting because everybody knows... I'd fall asleep if I didn't do something. I mean, I even fall asleep diamond painting. So, sitting and just watching a movie at the end of the day after a busy day where I, like, literally didn't sit down at all because we were doing stuff all day with her, or I was. Um, so, I diamond painted, and we watched two movies. And so, yeah, it was, like, four and a half hours of work. And, um... That's when I realized there are two X's. And yes, that was last week, you guys. 
last Tuesday. It is now Tuesday, a week later, and I am still holding a grudge. I am. And I will continue because it is so stupid. I don't understand why they did this. And I will show you what I'm talking about. I've already showed you. Um, I think, yeah, I showed people in the live. I showed, I think I said something in another video. Um, I just, I don't know. It, it, it's just annoying as heck. Okay, so there are two different X's. Where's the other one? Hold on. Here it is. Okay, so there's this X right here, and then there's this X. So there's two X's. Now these colors, while they are different, they are, one is orange, and one is orangish yellow. On the canvas... I'm going to bring it, I'm going to find a place, here's a place, and I'm going to bring it down close. Okay, so see right here, there's this orange here, and then there's this yellow here. They're both X's, and when you get going, and you kind of just space out, and it's X's, I messed up. Like, I put them, I put um, the ones on the orange that were supposed to go on the yellow, and... There is absolutely no way. I couldn't even swap the colors because there's no way. I would have run out. I would not have had enough colors to do it, the, you know, the way I had accidentally swapped it. Oh, so irritated. I had to pick up all of those. And that's what I was doing in that whip and chat. Like, I, had, I did put some drills down, but I was picking up drills because... And I was having to flick them and pick them with the tweezers and... I'm going to probably have to go get, ask them for more because one, even if I didn't have a mistake, I think it would have ran out of that color. And two, a ton of them are sticky, which I can deal with sticky, but a lot of them are scratched because I couldn't get them off the canvas. And so I was using my tweezers and of course the tweezers like will slip and scratch the drill. And I don't want no scratch drills on my canvas that I've like put blood, sweat and tears into, literally. So, yeah, I'm going to have to contact them and get some new uh, drills. Or more drills, because those ones, I just won't have enough. I can tell you. I can tell you that. Fui shui. Because there's still quite a bit of the canvas to do. So, um, hopefully that's the only color I'll run out of. Hopefully. And this, so this is a square, and because I, like I said, I can't work on it too long, um, I kitted up Distracted by Diamonds um, kit, and it's orange. It's orange. Oh my gosh. I just looked at the colors. I looked at a color that I was going to, that I was, no. Mm-hmm. My brain. That's my brain for ya. Anyways. I look. I'm, I started a. Um, did that? I start. I open. Oh my gosh! I cannot talk. So because I can't work on this canvas for a long time, I did open the distracted by diamonds um, kit during the unboxing. I kind of did a little bit of it because I kind of just wanted to see. Um, and so, I do have that one right now kitted up. Well, actually, it came kitted up. Like, it came in all the bags. And so, I haven't, like, kitted up on my own yet, which I probably will end up doing, even though I'm like, I want to try to do this um, with the bags. I doubt I will. I doubt it. I just don't like the bags. I really, really don't. They're just not my thing. Not, not for me. Some people like the bags, and that's okay. Like... They're just not, not for me. Not for me. So I will work on that. And that was a round. And a lot of times I do have like a round and a square anyways. Just depending on my mood. Um, then I'll work on, you know, the round one. Or I'll work on the square one. But lately I've been way more into squares. Um, and I tend to go through those phases of... You know, being into one more than the other and stuff like that. But um, I have some coming, some diamond paintings coming though. 
that I guarantee you is they're going to be kitted up when they get here. Like, I have no idea what I'm going to do because I have one coming from TSA, a custom that I've been waiting on for a long time. Cannot wait. Um, so not complaining, just saying. Been waiting for it for a long time. I know with everything that happened, like, I get it. I'm not complaining about it. Um, and then I ordered a DIY moon shop for my birthday. And um, I have been wanting to do one of their kits forever. But they are really expensive. So I had held off on doing one. Well, um, I ordered one, I think it was last week. Yeah, a week ago. So that one's going to be coming within the next few weeks, I would imagine. Maybe four weeks. I don't know. They're from, they're located in the Philippines. So it might take a little bit for it to get here, which is fine. But yeah, so I have some good canvases coming that I'm going to just be really excited to, to get going. I mean, yeah. Um, oh yeah, that was one of the things I talked about in my last, the whip and chat that I accidentally deleted. Um, so Moon, DIY Moon Shop is located in the Philippines, like I just said. And I put in an order, um, and I used my debit card and stuff, and I, um, it was, you know, a good amount. Well, it flagged my bank's attention because... It was, you know, in the Philippines, and it was over $100, and so, anyways, they, um, it flagged it. Well, then, I don't know, an hour after that, I put in an order for dinner, because we got chilies for Maddie's birthday, and so they turned my card, they, like, declined it, and I was like, what in the heck? Like, I know how much money is in there. There's no reason they would decline it. No reason. So, I'm like, and it's telling me that the CVC was entered incorrectly. And I'm like, no, it is not. Like, I'm looking at it right now. It's not. Anyways, I finally ended up going through PayPal um, to get dinner because my bank was closed. So, um, the next day, I called them. I was on the phone for like 45 minutes. Had to go through like 30 transactions. And then they're like, okay, your card should be good to go within about 10 minutes. And I'm like, super, thank you. Okay, I trusted them. So my husband goes to work the next day. Takes the card like he does. Because he goes, takes it. He buys like an energy drink. I don't know what he buys, whatever. Anyways. Um, he called or messaged me and he's like, hey, uh, the car's not on. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, it's still declined it. And he's like in the bank. I mean, the not the bank, the gas station that he went to. Um, had him run it twice just to make sure. And it, yeah, it was like still frozen. So I had to call the bank back. And it's like this thing, long drawn out thing. So now it's supposed to be on, but I don't know because I haven't tried to use it yet. But it's like, I don't know. It's just frustrating. It's really frustrating. Now, granted, I am glad that they flagged it and that, like, if that were really were something, I'm thankful that they are on top of things as much as they are. Um, but after calling them and, you know, telling them it was me, then having it still be declined, that was frustrating just because it was like, Oh, I don't want to have to be on the phone with them for another 45 minutes. I don't want to have to go through it all again. Like, ah, it's just irritating. Irritating, but, you know, whatever. Gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta have, I mean, gotta have the card working. That's our, that's our main card. So, he had had to take my, um, uh, Etsy shop card and I had to transfer money to it for him because, um, you know, the, the main card wasn't working and I would prefer not to use cash right now just cause like, that's one of the things they recommend with keeping, you know, using less germs and everything. And like, 
my husband's funny. He's really paranoid about certain things. Um, like, doesn't want anybody in the house and, like, all this stuff. Like, but yet then he won't, he won't wear a mask. He says he doesn't need one. And, um, which, whatever. But I just would rather not take the chance of using cash and, like, I don't know. I wash my hands when I go outside for anything, even walking the dogs. Like, I come back in, wash my hands. I wash my hands throughout the day, even at home. It's just the only thing that we can do to help prevent from getting it. Um, and that that goes for any germs. That goes for colds and the flu and strep throat, this, that, and another thing, you know. Um, I've been in the hospital quite a few times from a cold turning into pneumonia. So, yeah, it's like, so I've been washing my hands a lot. He washes them at work, doesn't touch anything, he says, from the time he leaves till the time he gets to the car, and then I sanitize the car all the time, and then he comes home, and he don't go wash his hands right away, so I would rather him not be dealing with money and just have more germs for him, you know, on him. And I'm not really more concerned. I mean, I you never know how it's going to affect somebody, but I'm not as concerned for him. He never gets sick. Like, he's only been sick enough in the 15 years we've been married. Only been sick enough one time that he had to call out from work. Only one time. He just doesn't get sick. But me, on the other hand, with my autoimmune issues and, like, my immune system just can't handle it, so I get sick really easy, and then Maddie gets sick. She doesn't get sick quite as easy as me, but she does get sicker um, than your average person because she, her immune system is compromised. Um, but then you add, like, my asthma and my lung issues on top of it, and it's like, he's more afraid of me getting it than him getting it. Because, um, like I said, I don't think it would be that bad for him. My sister had it, and... You know, she, she survived it. It was not fun, but she got through it. So, yeah, I'm not, like, super concerned for him. His immune system is really, really good. But, um, yeah. And, you know, it's one of those things that's, like, most likely at some point we're going to get it. It's just kind of inevitable unless they do come up with a cure for it or a vaccine or whatever. Because, I mean... Really, what they're doing is just trying to slow things down right now. Like, it's not... The, I mean, this whole stay-at-home, whatever, whatever, social distancing is going to slow it down for sure, which is what we need. But it's not going to full-on, like, kill the virus because the virus is still very much there. Um, it's just... This is kind of a thing I think that we're going to have to figure out this a new normal to be able to move on because things aren't just going to go back to the way they were. You know, it's like it's not just going to jump back and be like, okay, go back to normal. No, that's not going to happen. You know, it takes time for vaccines. It takes time for cures. Like, we're going to have to learn how to just be safe and deal with it because it just it is now social distancing all that stuff I think still needs to be in play um, because like yeah we need to help it slow it down and um, I think that once it gets warmer and stuff it'll get better because usually like the flu does and everything um, but I don't know what the heck do I know what do I know? Not no doctor, scientist, or I'm just I'm just a little person here. But um, anyways, whatever. Enough about that. So, what are y'all doing at home to kind of avoid going bananas? Are y'all just diamond painting all the time? <laughs> What have you done today? I diamond painted. What'd you do yesterday? Uh, diamond painted. 
Now, I know some of you guys are working from home, which is great. Um, that's wonderful. I, you know, I do feel bad for the people who are out of work right now. Um, that can be scary, you know, but hopefully, like, the stimulus checks helped everybody enough to kind of get through um, and everything. But, yeah. Are you doing anything, like, different? Because I think, you know, there are a lot of things that we can do at home besides just crafts. Like, I know some of my friends, like, they're starting a new, um, like, to learn a new language. And I have friends that are learning how to bake. And they're calling me, asking me for suggestions and, you know, help and everything. Learning how to bake because they've just never done it because... They just, you know, didn't. I've seen people, like, I saw one girl on, I think it was on TikTok, um, where she was like, I thought today was the day I would teach myself how to do a backflip. Yeah, it didn't work out for her so well. Now, granted, she was way better than I thought she would have been, and way better than probably most people, because she looked like she was, you know, in shape and maybe like a dancer or something. I'm not sure. But... She could do it do it really good on the trampoline. Then you go to the ground and it's a whole nother a whole nother thing. But yeah. Um put in the comments what are you doing to keep from going banana cakes? Cause you know, I think everybody's starting to feel it and wanna get out and socialize. There are some people though that are Hermits. My husband would love if he didn't have to work and he could just stay home all the time. Me, nope. I like I like people. I like to talk to people. Like I just yeah, I like to be around people. I like to be out about doing things. So yeah, but um we've been going to the park and walking the trail there with the dogs, and that's been fun. It feels like you're getting out and going somewhere. It's only, um, it's less than a mile from our house. Um, and you know, we've kept our distance from people and yeah, it's just so funny. I think I mentioned this before, how before, if two people are like walking down the sidewalk like this and you moved, that would be like really rude. Now, if you don't do this. It's rude. If you don't go around them, you know, it's like, how dare you? How dare you come close to me? It's just funny because before it would have been like, what's wrong with me? Like, why'd you do that? You know, it's funny watching like TV and movies too and being like, oh, they're, look at that. They're kissing guys. They're kissing. They don't know each other. They're going to get it. They're, oh my gosh. They're holding hands. They're on a date. They're in public. Look at all those people in Times Square. What are they thinking? Like, our mindsets are just so different than they used to be. It's just, it's kind of comical when you think about it. The way our mindsets have switched so much. Um, I'm going to have to take a break here in a few minutes because my eyes... I'm starting to hurt. And I know I'm tired. I was up to like 3.30. Working and trying to get stuff done. And then dealing with Maddie's blood sugar. Kept me up a little bit longer. So I was up really, really late. And then got up, you know, pretty early. So my eyes might be hurting too. Because they're tired. Um, that's okay. I usually take like a little nap in the afternoon. I'll lay down to watch a movie, um, to just chill out for a bit. And I usually fall asleep for like a half hour or something. Uh, sometimes depending on how much I slept the night before, I could sleep, you know, longer. Totally just depends on how tired my body is, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to finish this little section here. I'm doing, um, big sections right now. 
Like I'm literally going all the way across from one side to the other, just kind of like this. Uh, those are the kind of sections that I'm doing. I usually don't do that. I usually do like four by four sections. So why I did that, I don't know. I also am waiting to do the ABs till the very end. Again, don't know why, just am. Kind of like, you know, when you're a kid and you're eating Lucky Charms and you, like, save all the marshmallows till the end? It's kind of like that. Do all the ABs at last and they're all beautiful and just, like, make the piece come to life. I just thought it would be kind of cool to see, like, with ABs, without ABs. And there's some really pretty ABs. Like, there's all of this, like, white up here and stuff and green. That's all ABs. I hope it's not going to be, like, too much to where it's, like, just too much, you know? Too much ABs is not good. It just over, I don't know, it overdoes it. You don't want it to overdo it. And I have to go take my allergy medicine here in a minute. I try to take it at the same time every single day. But that doesn't always work so well. I'll be glad when these trees are done blooming. They are beautiful, though, and they smell like heaven. But, yeah, they're just kicking my butt. Kicking my boot tie. But they're gorgeous, so, you know, like I try to do, look for the silver lining, look for the positive. They are really, really pretty trees. They really, really are. They're pretty in the spring and they're beautiful in the fall. So, just looking on the positive. Um, I think I might come back and do some work. Add a little bit more to this. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see. I was going to try to get it up for you guys today, but I just don't think that'll happen. I don't know. Um, what time is it? Uh, let me see how long this is. And we'll see if I'm going to, you know, add it. Because I don't know. I could put this up today. I could put it up on Thursday. Um, tomorrow, obviously, is my Whip It Wednesday. So if you want to enter into the Whip It Wednesday, I will be putting up a link. Um today soon and you can go it's in my Facebook group and you can go in there and post a, your the picture of what you're working on you could put um the price the size where you got it uh and anything else you need to that you you know want people to know but please 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 if you're gonna enter one at least put the size and the price um and where you got it. Now, if you don't know that information, that's fine. You can just put your whip in there. But I will say it might not be talked about. It might just go through the, like, slideshow at the end. Because in order for me to really good, give a good opinion on it and everything like that, I like to know that kind of stuff. So, that will be up in the in my Facebook group. Um, also, I think you have, like, one more day. I need to go and check um, to enter into the Facebook giveaway. And there is... Uh, because I hit a thousand members in our group. Yay! Um, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're doing a um, a giveaway, which there is going to be three different Time and Art Clubs given away. So, which is awesome, awesome. Mrs. Coffee was in that live when I did it on Facebook. And she asked if she could donate one of her diamond paintings. Um, uh, her DAC, I think it's the, oh, what did you say it was called? Um. Let me look. So it's called The World I Used to Know. It's the tiger that's like drinking the water. Uh, she is doing that one. And then I am putting also the um, belly dancer and um, the fixer upper is what it's called. Or what it was called. I can't remember what it's called now. It's the new, the newest Manny Manzano Frozen one. It has um, Anna and Kristoff um, in it. And I believe that one is sold out, possibly. 
If it's not, it's on, if it's, it possibly might be on pre-order. Anyways, but you can get um, one of those three. And then don't forget about the raffle. Um, I did extend that date and I can't remember what day it was. I'll try to put the date right here um, where it extends to. So don't forget if you want to be in that raffle um, to to get those Diamond Art Club paintings, then you got to go and get something from Shine Shop Designs. Every $10 gets you another raffle ticket. So if you spend $50 in the shop, you get five raffle tickets. So, um, and this is all going towards Maddie and, and helping getting her service dog. So it's not like I'm just like pocketing the, you know, the money and, and everything. It's, it's going to a good cause. So those of you that don't know, my daughter, she just turned 11. She has type one diabetes and we lost her service dog, um, in December, uh, to uh, liver failure. So we are working on getting her a new service dog. Um, and so we greatly appreciate all of your guys' help. Okay, I'm going to take a break here on this one. Let my eyes rest a bit. Um, and I ain't putting that plastic back up there, you guys. Like, I am not doing that again. That is something that they they really need to fix. Because, I mean, that's just not, not, not okay. Not okay at all. So, um, but yeah, I think that, uh, that we'll probably just end it here. Uh, it can, I don't know how long this is going to be. I didn't look at the time, but um, it might be a little bit shorter than normal. But that's okay. Um, might be the normal hour. Who knows? Who knows? But don't forget, you guys. As always, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and you are definitely loved more than you know. So with that, keep shining, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified when I put up a new video.